was organized sometimes in 1976. It came about from the feasibility study of a certain Mr. McGill while he was doing his graduate studies, no, his thesis. There was a need really to open a medical school in Mindanao to serve both in the urban and rural setting. We envision to train young people in the medical professions who will be committed to the service of the public, especially here in this part of the Philippines. The core group really that is behind the development of the hospital was Dr. Panon Shalman, Sister Manzano. They were the ones who started the school. They wrote the Bureau of Education to form the San Pedro Medical School. However, the Bureau responded that their application was late, but it was recommended that they submit a feasibility study and a curriculum. So thus, other people now were involved in the development of the school. When we submitted this with the letter of intention to the Bureau of Education in Manila, the answer we got is San Pedro College is a simple college who cannot grant a diploma of the higher level of profession like Doctor of Medicine. So this is why the consortium came up. The consortium of uh, a university that will serve as the umbrella institution to form this Davao Medical School Foundation. So Davao, Ateneo de Davao came up, San Pedro College was a member, and we need hospitals for the clinical training of the students. Rockenshire Hospital, San Pedro Hospital, we're part of it. Who wrote again the Bureau no, for the development of the San Pedro Medical School. But at this time, the name was changed. Instead of San Pedro Medical School, it was changed to Dabao Medical School because of the involvement of other hospitals and other community in the city. So and by the late December of 1976, the Bureau approved the formation of the Dabao Medical School. And by early 1977, the permit to start the school was received. The DMSF started with nothing in finances, no land, no buildings, no laboratory, and no equipment to start off. Panahon ka itong nasi. Ang amo-amo niya ito, Sister Manzano pa, siya po ang head yata sa San Pedro Hospital. Kaya naman yung medical school sa una pagsugo doon. May mga facilities. Ang gigamit sa una mga facilities, mga microscope. Dito po yung nagdapain sa San Pedro College. Dito po yung laboratory. Dito po yung nag-assess. Because we don't have the facilities for a medical school. Our building was the old San Pedro Hospital at the back of the present building. No? No? And it was not aircon like Today, we don't have facilities for laboratory, okay. so instead, we use the laboratory of the San Pedro Hospital College of Nursing. Pero ito nga po sa karaan ng building sa San Pedro Hospital, nag-klasi, nag-lecture, na kami sa isinta ka po kay Susiante ng first year, muna sila karoon si Dr. Alegre, President Dina Tokaron, Uxi, Dr. Basa Din Puna Tokaron. During the time the medical school was really in financial distress, to the point that we could hardly pay the salary of our administrative staff, although some of the salaries of our faculty were donated back to the medical school. The faculty at that time was mostly committed, no? We were determined that the school will really succeed for the good of the community. And we try our best, whatever we can do, to really, to be, you know, to do good in everything we do concerning the medical school. Because of their dedicated service, the medical school withstood all the hardships. Now I am very lucky to see the dream come true 
I am the great grandmother of the products of the Davao Medical School Foundation. The College of Dentistry was conceived four years after the establishment of the Davao Medical School Foundation College of Medicine. Our founders thought that not only medicine was lacking in Mindanao, but also the oral health condition of the people here in Mindanao needed attention. Thus, somewhere in 1981, the Davao Medical School Foundation College of Dentistry was established with Dr. Pedro Morales as the first dean. As you can see now, our dental infirmary is very modern, very spacious, and we have strictly followed all the principles that has been set up here. With regards to our facilities, we are at par with other schools and for now, the MSF has a very good facilities, uh, very sophisticated, uh, especially with the College of Medicine and College of Dentistry and so also with the College of Nursing. The Institute of Graduate Studies and Research was tasked to promote research here in the medical school and I am happy to tell you that uh, the students and the faculty garnered awards in uh, research contests in Davao City and in the national level. I heard from my agent that uh, the syllabus here follows uh, the same syllabus as the US, as in they use the same books and so on. So I thought it would be a very good opportunity. Uh, I also heard that the level of education here was uh, very well maintained and those are the reasons why I decided to come here. My parents also graduated here in the year 1985, I think. Um, they're two successful physicians right now, and um, sila jud ang, I think, reason, big reason why I'm studying me medicine right now. Um, kay, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a doctor. Siguro kay na exposed ko sa medical field, like seeing them. Um, na nag na ay pasyente, naga treat og patients, usahay mag adto sa balay, magpatambal. Mao pud ang teaching diri sa Davao Medical School na uh, to be a doctor for the barrios to serve first your community. The medical school was being conceptualized. The idea was for students who graduated and become practitioners to go back to the uh, area, to their own respective areas or to their, to their own respective local health units and teach uh, the local uh, health practitioners. You just don't want to be just another medical school. Before namo gidawat ang kaninga scholarship na asila gisuya sa amua before nga nag-start ang examination. Once nga mag-apply mo ang scholarship, is mo about ang time, mo balik mo sa inyong area, so mauto ang amuang gusto jud nga makaskwela mi o makabalik mi sa amuang area para matabangan na mo ang amuang community sa, sa about sa health. The IP scholars, which are supported by some sponsors such as the European Union, the city government of Davao, Kalaigot, Swelling Foundation, Men's Program, who gave us the opportunity to nurture IPs who are willing to go back to serve their own respective communities and render quality service. In time, pag nakagraduate ko and nakapasa ko sa board, hopefully, mag-serve po ko diri. Sa ang area is wala na dyan midwife sa mo ang barangay. Once a month, muduaw siya, usahay pa dyan, dili. So, nakahuna-huna ako that time nga kani murag i grab na nako ni nga opportunity it's because ang amo ang area is naninahanglan og isa ka midwife nga muy mo alagad sa amo ang area it is the midwives who goes to the communities especially the underserved kahit na saan ka pumunta you will know that midwives are in the very remote areas they reach areas uh, riding in a caramel, 
in a horse. <laughs> Kasi nga, ang dami-dami trabaho ng midwives. Kaya they are very important as part of the healthy. The main thing, the thing that I enjoyed the most was uh, my final year of medicine, which is when we rotate in the hospitals. Because uh, most places around the world, when you do start your rotations, you know, it's more of observing. Uh, you know, the doctors do teach you, but you know, you observe everything, you don't really get to do much. But in uh, DMSF, uh, in both the hospitals we rotated in, um, honestly, I can say that I have done everything imaginable and more. Like, um, every single tube I've inserted, I've assisted in every single surgery imaginable. I've, I've interacted with patients who, you know, I did not really understand because of the language barrier i do speak uh, broken visaya but you know uh, the way you interact with patients here the exposure they, that they allow us to have is in my honest opinion unrivaled so thank you dmsf for that In the beginning, when we started out the hospital, uh, the intent was to have a hospital to serve the needs of our graduates in terms of training. Although as time went by, uh, the mandate as well as the expectations for the hospital had grown. Although the major theme of the hospital is still to serve the community, of course, However, we would like to emphasize now the importance of primary health care and our programs are geared towards that. We have to focus on something that will set it apart and, and uh, we are now trying to refocus on primary health care as the, the first and the major thrust of the medical school in establishing what, what we envision to be healthy communities enjoying quality life. Over the years, IPHC evolved into a multi-issue NGO, so it doesn't only respond to the health needs of the community, but it went beyond health concerns, so it has programs on education, programs on environment, programs on other social determinants of the society like poverty, but still IPHC put into the development framework the necessity of primary health care in all the programs that it has initiated. So being a part of the Davao Medical School, IPHC transcends into not only capacitating the community so that they can solve their own problems, but it has become a catalyst of preparing also the community. So IPHC has this initiative to have all the communities be prepared so that when the students come to the area or come to the community, they would learn the experiences of a public health so that they will be capacitated in due time if they will go into public health by themselves. I always tell the student that their first priority will be their patient. No? Following the Hippocratic Oath after graduation, that the patient is always your priority. For sure, the MSFI will be known as in the ASEAN countries if every department will be producing male professionals who are committed to serve the depressed communities. In other schools, they are producing nurses that is globally competitive and later on to find work abroad. The good thing with the MSF is they are developing or instilling values to our students that after graduation, they should serve the community. I cannot imagine the Davao Medical School Foundation reaching 40 years because when we started here at the Davao Medical School Foundation, we thought that this would just be another institution that would just be still small, maintain its smallness, although its services would go beyond Mindanao, but it has transitioned, it has transformed itself into one of the best schools in the Philippines. And 
hopefully in the near future we will be globally competitive. The hope is that later on we will no longer have this separation of school and hospital but rather the whole DMSL community together in reaching our goals. The Dapa Medical School Foundation Incorporated inspired by the community orientation of the founders, had set an overall direction of the institution for the next five years, which states, DMSF High, sustaining the practice of primary health care or PHC for healthy individuals and communities. To realize the articulated direction, DMSF High are now preparing on the following initiatives in the areas of instruction, research, community extension and services, tertiary services, faculty and staff development, and infrastructure development. For our other preparations, we need to design programs that will sustain the organizational culture of DMSF. We need to develop training programs to support the students, faculty and staff formation towards integration in the self, the core values of DMSF and design programs that will make possible faculty and student exchanges with the ASEAN universities and will further facilitate integration of culture, language, and religion. All these things will be materialized through the undying support of the Board of Trustees and the full cooperation of the employees and stakeholders of the institution. Of the Davao Medical School Foundation Incorporated, I'd like to thank the founders, the dreamers of this institution who wish to produce health professionals in order to answer the health needs of the Mindanaoans. I'd like to thank also the first batch of uh, our professors who sacrificed a lot, who didn't receive any salary in the first five years of their service. To the present uh, faculty also, who give their time, who give their effort in uh, teaching our students. And also I'd like to thank also our uh, partners from the government and uh, private sectors and also from uh, our uh, international funding agencies. And also I'd like to thank also the parents who gave their full support and their trust in sending their students, their children here at the Davao Medical School Foundation. And also we thank also the students for their full support. On behalf of the uh, board of directors, the officers, the faculty and staff, we'd like to give our uh, message to the whole community for the DMSF to continue to pursue for excellence uh, in uh, instruction, in research, in patient care, and for community service in the power plant areas. And uh, we will also continue give emphasis on the primary health care, giving patient service, what is the best for the patient, will be given to them. Thank you very much and God bless.